also, Kira will go very aggressive over the health packs as they spawn. All right, well, we are once again on the abyss, the murder bridge. And so far, it's been true to its name. One kill has been claimed. Will there be another? Will we go to CS? Kira's gonna fire that Peacemaker. It's silenced up for just a second, but Dyrus is already losing the trade in an instant recall out of Kira. All about the map control for Kira. He sets up that ward straight away. He's able to judge exactly the distance on the Peacemaker. It's actually quite impressive how Kira was able to dominate the competition. As I was saying, watch for the, the, uh, the health pack spawns around that 2 minute 30 mark. Uh, he'll just get himself onto the, uh, the actual health relic and force his opponent away. Now, by the way, you were talking about the AD Malzahar pick and how a little early on he mm -hmm. can do a lot of damage. This isn't the way Dyrus is going. He's yeah. built himself a Dorance ring, and he's going to be going the much more traditional AP path. Now, let's see if it works out. He does have that Q available. The silence doesn't do a ton to Caitlyn, but Kira is abusing the ability on his passive to get more headshot stacks in the brush. Yes, and again, this is another thing that we saw Kira consistently do is utilize the brush, make sure he's stacking up that passive very quickly. Uh, I'm interested now to see whether Dyrus tries somehow to shove Kira in later on in this matchup because Dyrus has already lost the pushing game. There you can see the first boiling of the game uh, dies to Kira very quickly. Dyrus could be in trouble here as Kira is about to hit level two off that front minion. Will he go aggressive? Will be able to just chunk Dyrus down from the brush. Those headshots are starting to stink. He has been hitting the call of the voids though, and now he's back up to level two himself. But Kira is just saying so safe on the superior range of this Caitlyn. He's relying on it, and it's not really being punished. No, it, it will. I mean, it's very difficult to punish at this point. The only way that Kira gets punished is if he's standing in his minion line uh, when the malefic visions actually just spreads throughout the wave. So unless Kira somehow makes a mistake on that, I don't think he's going to get punished too hard in these early levels, just from the sheer range difference. Yeah, it's just so hard for Dyrus to be able to combat this. And you can see the CS differential is still creeping up there. The Malefic Visions are chugging away on that cannon minion, but since it doesn't go down, it's not going to spread level difference. Kira just keeps stepping forward. And look at him force Dyrus away from the health relic. Kira is fine to trade. He sits on the relic. He has Grasp of the Undying as well. That's one key thing that he always runs on these AD carries. He just constantly ticks the timer up on the minions and then auto-attacks the enemy champion because he has that massive range. And any damage that he takes just gets traded straight back with the health that comes to him. Yeah, so even if Dyrus is able to land a little bit of damage on him, it just goes right back to it. Does get a nice Q between the mini waves. Kira's still able to chunk him out, though. But Dyrus actually has a level advantage here for just a moment. We'll see if he goes a little farther forward with the grasp of the Undying's flying back and forth. But I feel like Kira is able to just come a little bit further ahead on it. And then not only his main mastery here, but he's got that lifesteal on the Doran play. But it's so difficult right now for Dyrus to do anything. His health relic isn't up yet, and it's not due up for another good uh, few seconds here. It's another about 15 to 20 seconds before it's due up. It's, I believe it's 75 seconds on the map, so Kira it's actually at uh, 3.45 it's due up. You can see Kira shoving it in. He knows that the minion wave is coming. He has to shove this in in the next 10 seconds and force Dyrus back, because then there's no way for Dyrus to do anything. He forces the recall, and he's going to get turret damage out pretty safely here is Dyrus has to get away. Well, he's not going to back just yet. He's got his Voiling available, but he's running out of minions fast. Kira steps up, gets the Health Relic. Yes, he burns it away on a shot from the tower, but Dyrus is just zoned out of this farm. It is 30 to 16, and he is not looking too healthy. The Voiling is going to go down. Kira is still just trying to keep the minions within tower range so he can just keep on firing it down and Dyrus has got nothing to do. And this is the kind of situation that a big timer goes on to Dyrus now. He has to all in Kira before he gets to 100 CS. There's a lot of time left here and we'll see what Dyrus actually manages to pick up when he goes back but uh, Kira is going to win this at 100 CS. There is almost no way for Dyrus without a massive all in using the ignite, using that barrier and getting the ultimate down for Dyrus actually to come back into this CS game. Caitlyn is just too punishing when it comes to having a lead on CS. This is this is exactly what he's got to do. If he can ding six in time, he's going to get back to lane before Kira can. If he can manage to get up to that, land the nether grasp, finish the channel and go ignite, it's the only chance he's got because otherwise Kira's just going to net away and keep cutting. And the key thing is that, uh, you know, people are saying, oh, just build damage. That's all you need. You're an AD carry. You'll win the trades. It's great. Kira knows he doesn't need it. He's got a door and shield. He's got himself a null magic. All he needs to do is not die in this matchup, and he wins this game. And that is what made him so difficult to deal with in IWCA, because nobody seemed to ban both of the AD carries away from him, and Kieran would just play for the late game. And if you made a mistake, he'd punish you before.
Not dire is the man to use other health relic there. He is going to land the Q. He does get Collective Visions on, but more CS traded over to Kira. And that's an ace in the hole. Dyrus takes a little bit more, throws down the null zone as well. And he's not six yet. He can't get Kira. another grasp. He does get some serious damage, and Kira's got to be careful playing with fire there against the F Team Fire top laner. Yeah, that was messy out of Kira. Uh, Dyrus actually just getting a lot of free damage off the six. Be careful. He's going Dyrus, in. As long as he doesn't go he's exhausted. Tower, right? Oh, this could be dangerous though. Kira steps forward and Dyrus is in the bush. He's heading straight for a trap, but he sidesteps it. Headshots are flying though, and he has to back away. Yeah, he has to back away. Dyrus even used his ultimate in that engage, and Kira was just able to get himself basically taking no damage during the entire thing, and that means that Kira is just able to consistently farm this up. Dyrus now has to rethink his strategy. Oh he no, he's on the trap. Oh, the trap. Headshots, Vision, Kira just keeps trading back and he gets the health back. On that last trade too, Dyrus, he cancelled his ultimate. It really was an inopportune moment for him, but he had, he had the chance, he just didn't quite get it. Now Kira's just gonna keep on stacking the CS, 54 to 31. Dyrus is staying alive, but this game could be over. This game uh, is pretty difficult. Uh -oh. Dyrus Goes for the head, picks yeah. it up. Dyrus just can't get there in time, and he takes a Peacemaker to the back of the head. Again, it's just all about control over those relics. No potions for Dyrus. There's potions for Kira, so all he has to do, take the relic, chug a pot. The actual effective health he gains from that it just outweighs everything Dyrus can throw at him. The one thing to keep in mind, Exhaust is on cooldown for Kira. Dyrus has his Ignite, has his Barrier, and the ultimate is going to be up before Exhaust is available once again. So Kira has to respect that, because Dyrus can look to go for an all-in. It just is going to have to be a very well-placed all-in, because he's going to need a, probably a little bit of help from minions as well in order to take down Kira. Kira's going to back here. He's got almost no mana. He's standing on the Hell Shrine, but Dyrus is going straight for him. Throws down the Null Sphere to stop that, and takes a little bit of minion damage, but he might look to go all in here. No, has to back away a lot of damage from the Kayla. Yeah, it's because he doesn't have his ultimate. If Dyrus had his ult, I think he may have gone all in there. Uh, although he will pretty much need his full rotation. Oh, well, dude, I try. See, Not quite. The Boiling is starting to charge up, but he's losing a lot of the potency as it's a the minions. It is. It's a decent trade, but remember, Kira's got the pots. Kira's just going to sustain up here. Ooh, takes all the damage there. However, Dyrus still wants to trade back. He's going to throw down the barrier. Kira wants to try and push him further back, but Dyrus has got his ultimate up and available. Ace in the whole barrier is also popped on him. And he decides to go for it. All of this is Kira buying time for his exhaust. That's really everything that Kira is doing here is just throwing as much at Dyrus to force him not to engage. And as soon as that exhaust is back up, Kira knows that the game is done. It's really just like a game of chess at this point. <laughs> Dyrus, unfortunately, doesn't have as many winning moves. The other thing here is Kira can recall very freely. The CS lead he has built up here, 72 to 47, means that Kira is never going to miss more than a wave and a half. Uh, he backs away, still maintains the lead, gets his Hex Drinker now, and is able to survive any kind of all-in that Dyrus should throw at him. Uh, and you can see now Dyrus has only just gone up to 50. And the turret is going to take damage, but it is not going to be enough to take the turret down. Of course, remember, 100 CS, turret kill, or first blood, will win you a one versus one. Here is intent on winning as much of it as he can. The reigning champion from the IWCA 1v1 tournament. Dyrus will go back and get himself the health pot to try and compete, but Kira's exhaust is almost back up. This is a dangerous moment for Dyrus. It is, and you know, it makes you wondering what Kira has for the rest of the tournament here as well, because he got a, one of the picks he was just proficient at anyway. And Kira, it does take a damage. That's a big one. Kira! Nice Nether Grasp is going! Dyrus is going all for it! Can he eliminate the All-Star Champion? The Hex Drinker shield is on. Dyrus is out of mana and out of options. He's got to back away. Ooh, Kira playing that a little bit greedy. Couldn't get the exhaust off to begin, but he knows that Dyrus doesn't have the damage right now, and that may very well have been Dyrus's last hurrah in this one versus one tournament, because up to 87 CS now is Kira. It means all he's got to do is get two waves and one more creep, and that will be the end of the game. Dyrus actually may just lose. No, the minions, there's not enough minions there for him to take the turret down here. So Kira... Does he recall away and just take the safe victory on this after taking his health relic? Okay, yeah, he does. He's gonna let the wave bounce its way into the turret. Dyrus will pick up a decent chunk of this, but he is just so far behind. Kira needs six minions yeah. to seal the deal here. He makes that hex drinker. It is so hard for Dyrus to try and all in him. That attempt just wasn't enough. One wave to win, which means Dyrus has to go all in on this next minion wave. There is no real option for Dyrus to win this.
unless he can somehow kill Kira with no summoners for both of them. Dyrus has to go here. He's trying to keep him off the wave of minions. He does throw a lot of damage, and Dyrus is dancing just outside the turret range. But the trap is down. Dyrus narrowly avoids it, takes a Peacemaker, takes a shot from the 90 caliber net, but Kira's got a headshot loaded, and he keeps firing. Gets another CS. Ace in the hole to Dyrus. There's the null zone, but Dyrus is so low here. How long can he afford to zone him out? Kira's having a couple of bad dreams, but Dyrus, he might be done dreaming for this 1v1 tournament. Four more CS is all Kira needs. Dukes the Peacemaker, Nets Ooh. away. Dyrus takes even more damage on the backside of it, but he's still trying to hold strong. Unfortunately, the Boiling Three Storm Riders, Dyrus is so low here. One level down, the Malefic Vision still burning through. All Kira's gonna do, four Ooh. minions, one more auto could do it. Dyrus can't get out of the brush there. He's trying to get away, but there's the headshot. He wants to finish it in style. Oh. Not enough damage. Dyrus hangs on by a thread, but that is he gonna be up. the nether grasp. But that's it. Poros go flying. First blood and another victory for Team Ice. Whew, as if it wasn't close enough on the CS. Kira goes for the kill. Played it a little bit riskier perhaps than he needed to, but I mean, this is what made it so 